Alright, today we're going to learn about trigonometry. Labeling the side. Trigonometry, you say? Trigonometry is the study of the relationship between a triangle's sides and their corresponding angles. It was developed in the 3rd century BC by astronomers and was formalized by the Greeks with Hipparchus creating the first trigonometry table in the 2nd century BC. There he is, if you want to send him some fan mail. In this unit, we'll be focusing on right-angled trigonometry only. Non-right angle trigonometry does exist, but we will look at that at another time. Labelling the sides. Before we can begin studying the relationship between a triangle sides and its angles, we must learn a little bit more about right angle triangles and how to label their sides. The hypotenuse. We already know about the hypotenuse from our study of Pythagoras' theorem. It's the side opposite the right angle, which also makes it the longest side. There's the right angle. There's the side opposite, so that makes it the hypotenuse. Copy that down. The opposite side. The remaining two sides are dependent upon the placement of a given angle. The angle may be an actual measurement, like 68 degrees, or an unknown. Usually we use theta, which looks like that. The opposite side is a side found directly in front from the given angle. So there we can see our given angle which is theta, directly in front of that, we find a side, which we're going to call the opposite. Copy that down. The adjacent side. The adjacent side is the side that is found between the given angle and the right angle. So again, we can see our given angle there, theta. Between it and the right angle, we find the side, which is the adjacent side. You guessed it. Copy that down. Putting it all together, we get hypotenuse in front of the right angle. Straight out from the angle is the opposite. Between the angle and the right angle is the adjacent. And in our second triangle, same idea. There's our three sides. So note that the opposite and adjacent sides have changed positions. That is because theta is in a different spot in each question. Alright, let's look at some examples. Here are four triangles, which we're going to try and label with the abbreviations OP, HYPE, and ADGE. So, example one. Alright, we see our given angle there, theta. And our first step should always be to label the hypotenuse, which is easy. Next, I always like to do the opposite side. So, straight out from the angle, we have the opposite. And in between the angle and the right angle, we find the adjacent side. Example two. This time our given angle actually has a measurement of 33 degrees. So again, start with the hypotenuse and find our opposite side and find the adjacent side between the 33 and the right angle. In example three, we have an unknown. This time it's X as our angle. We can use lots and lots of different letters or numbers. Hypotenuse is the place to start, straight in front, we find the opposite, and lastly, the adjacent between the X and the right angle. In example 4, we have another Greek letter, this one's called beta, and looks like a B. Hypotenuse again, start there, opposite directly in front, with adjacent the remaining side. And copy all those examples down. And now we have all of our skills we need in order to be able to label a right angle triangle in preparation for trigonometry.